In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, be mercy, peace, and blessings of Almighty Allah be upon all of you. Welcome you all in this our lecture series program, and we are going to talk about what is phonetics. A uh, within topic, we are going to discuss definitions of phonetics, branches of phonetics, what is IPA, which is part of phonetics studies, and the IPA symbol chart. So these are some of the points we are going to discuss in our today's. lecture this content is from an introduction to linguistic semester 1 this topic is very important for the students of ma english bs english and equally crucial for the aspirants of english lecturership so let's talk about our today's topic and that is what is phonetics 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 in simple words is a study of sounds and when we are talking about uh, phonology if we are making comparison with phonology we already in our previous uh, lecture we have talked about it and right now we are going to discuss phonetics in our uh, next lecture we would make a differentiation between the uh phonetics and the phonology right now we are going to talk about our topic and that is phonetics and it is derived from greek word phon means sound or voice it is science of speech sounds and their production so in a very simple word um it is science of speech sounds and their production phonetics is concerned with the speech sounds and their production speech sounds what are the um sounds in a language and how these are produced so this is all about the phonetics phonetics is the study of the physical properties of human speech such as how basic sounds are physically produced their acoustics and how they are perceived so this is all about that phonetics is about the physical properties right uh, of human speech um how these sounds are physically produced their acoustics and how they are perceived how these are uh, listened by the uh, listeners so this is all about the phonetics it could be defined um with this picture you see how these all things are um there into this picture and uh, we are going to learn and this is all about the signs because we are going to learn the um organs of his speech uh the articulators of his speech sounds in a language right now again when we are talking about the uh, phonetics and uh, its branches or areas which we are going to discuss there are three areas of phonetics number 1 articulatory phonetics and what is articulatory phonetics it is concerned with articulation of speech the position shape and movements of articulators are speech organs such as the lips tongue and vocal folds and uh, this uh, could be explained uh, through this picture you see how these uh, words are been articulated here into this picture again number 2 which we are going to discuss that is acoustic phonetics and it deals with the transmission of speech sounds through air how these sounds are transmitted from the speaker to the listener so this is all about the uh, acoustic phonetics and this could best be uh, described through this picture again and number 3 we are going to talk about and this is the third area of phonetics that is auditory phonetics it deals with how speech sounds are perceived by the listener so this is all about how the listeners they receive the sounds and again this could be um explained through this picture again moreover phonetics deals 
with the articulatory and acoustics properties and speech sounds how they are produced and how they are perceived so this is all about the phonetics that is uh, um, uh, concerned with the articulations uh, acoustics of a speech sounds and how these speech sounds are produced and perceived by the listeners so this was all about the phonetics and the study of phonetics one thing which is been discussed in phonetics and that's very important that is what is ipa ipa is the abbreviation of international phonetic alphabet and ipa is a set of symbols of phonemes so basically uh, ipa um, is a set of symbols of phonemes we already have talked about what are phonemes and ipa are basically the symbols of phonemes that could tell you how to pronounce any word in any language in the world so this is all about the ipa again the ipa was created by international phonetic association um this was uh, created uh, by this organization founded in 1886 in paris their original mission was to help school children pronounce words in foreign languages and to aid in the teaching of reading today their mission is to promote the scientific study of phonetics so this is actually the information of this association uh, created uh, international phonetic alphabet um this is the world organization which is working in the study of phonetics so right now again when we are talking about um its uh, further studies international phonetic alphabet despite there being just 46 letters in the english language there are approximately 44 unique sounds also known as phonemes so as you see there are 26 letters in english but there are 44 unique sounds which are known as phonemes it means 44 sounds we could say are phonemes as well so the 44 sounds help distinguish one word or meaning from an other the 44 english sounds fall into two categories number 1 consonant sounds and number 2 vowels below is a list of the 44 phonemes along with their international phonetic alphabet symbols and some examples of their use so um, in the following um, uh, list we are going to talk about uh, ipa symbols which are known as uh, phonemes as well so here you could see these are the consonant sounds or consonant phonemes what are consonants sounds in which air stream from the lungs is either completely or partially blocked so this is the definition of consonants and uh, when we are talking about the consonants they are the consonants phonemes there are ip symbols so these are our phonemes are we could say symbols which represent the uh, sound phoneme okay and uh, what are the graphemes graphemes uh, various letters and letter combinations known as graphemes are used to represent the sounds likewise you see uh, there are words bug and bubble so uh, b and double b so these b and double b are the graphemes so instead of these both graphemes we are using the single ip symbol or a phoneme that is ba ba in bug and ba in bubble likewise you see the f g h and j so these are the uh, symbols ip symbols which students are supposed to uh, cram and learn and uh, they should learn by heart uh, to understand these ipa symbols in dictionaries and these are some of the graphemes which help us that in a street of these uh, letters in words we are using these ipa symbols or phonemes in english again this is uh, the list and there are 
consonant phonemes or consonant IP symbols. So these are the symbols like in uh, treasure, year. So this is the sound of this is, which is used in treasure, television, Azure. So this is all about. And when we are talking about ch sound in watch, future. So this is the symbol or phoneme in English, in International Phonetic Alphabet, ch sound. And this is um, ch sound. And this is th sound as in thong, th. In the state of these um, graphemes, th, we are using this th IPA symbol of phoneme, right? As the sound, and this is the symbol of the, th, as in leather, right? So these are 24 consonants. And when we are talking about vowels, what are vowel sounds? Vowel sounds in which the air stream from the lungs is not blocked. So um, when we are pronouncing, likewise, you could see in this picture, when we are pronouncing vowel sounds, the air stream is not blocked, means our mouth would be opened while we are uh, pronouncing the vowel sounds, uh, our vowel phonemes. So these are the IPA symbols of these vowel phonemes are IPA symbols. And how these are used for uh, graphemes and in words. Again, these are complete 44 phonemes or IPA symbols in English when we are talking about um, the phonetics or IPA symbols in English. Thanks for attention. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, this could have been very helpful for uh, you students. Uh, Assalamu alaikum.